Let's talk about that crash that I was saying was coming. Yep, me, a few months ago, when COVID hit, I said, guys, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. It's going to be 2000, 2007, 2008 again. And guess what? It hasn't happened. The property market is very, very buoyant. We've never been as busy. Okay, Lots of people are looking to buy, whether it's in residentials or investments. So was I wrong? Uh, let's talk about it. Where's that market crash you were talking about, Payam? Where is that crash that you were, you were telling us all about? Um, these are some of the comments that I've received at the bottom of some of the videos. Now, I did record a series of videos when uh, the pandemic hit to say, I think there's going to be a downturn in the property prices. I think the market is going to be, you know, really, really hit. Uh, and it's turned out that I, well, was I wrong? Probably. Um, but I think it's only been postponed. Yes, you had the government step in since my video and say, look, you know, stamp duty holidays and all sorts of things, which has made the market very, very buoyant. So we've never been busier. OK, so one uh, from one sense, um, it's been very, very busy. The lenders are really, really busy. Everyone's looking for properties at the moment. And it's almost like a false sense of security. This is where I'm coming from, guys. I think they've just pushed this back. I think unless um, they decide to extend this, and I have a feeling that they probably will extend it, and I did do a video on this about two months ago when the stamp duty thing came in, and I said, I think they'll extend it. Um, I don't think they'll tell people now. I think they'll probably wait until the end of, end of the year. Because if they told people that the, the stamp duty extension is going to happen, what would you do? A lot of people would just put it on hold. They won't buy now. OK, and the government needs activity, OK, within the property market. OK, um, so I believe that basically we've just kicked the can down the road. I still think there's going to be problems ahead. Obviously, the chancellor's come out and told us the economy is going to take a massive hit. Um, and we are not shielded from that, although that the property market is actually done really, really well. Um, and. It's true. I mean, you're speaking to clients. There are some of my clients that have been hit massively, the ones that have earned, you know, have had businesses in the hospitality sector, some of the people that work for the airlines. I've got, I get deal with all sorts of walks of life. You know, I've got different types of clients from different. And there are lots of people that haven't. I've got people that are like, you know, that can work from home, solicitors, lawyers, accountants, IT consultants, anything to do with IT. Generally, they've done really well. Their salaries keep on going up. So there are winners and there are losers in this market. And I think the winners are taking advantage of all the incentives. Also, there are lots of property investors in the market. And because of the stamp duty, um, the way it works, the holiday works, and um, they've seen uh, an a opportunity to take advantage of that by adding to their properties by um, restructuring their property portfolios. So yes, there are, uh, th that's the activity. There's no denying it's so busy. Pretty much everybody's busy. The lenders, other brokers I talk to are all very, very busy. And let's not even talk about the solicitors because I think they're, they're in real big trouble. And um, we've also seen um, various lobbying now happening to the government to say, look, you know, if you do not extend this stamp duty deadline, there's going to be problems ahead. We had Zooplo, I think, came out and said over half the people that will um, that buy in January may lose uh, the stamp duty. They may not hit the target uh, for the stamp duty deadline. So I think watch this space. Um, you know, do not sue me if the government just pulls it and do not extend it. But um, I think logistically, there's a lot of problems out there. Um, certainly at the solicitor stage, you know, there's going to be a big pipe, I mean, hundreds of thousands of people waiting to complete and they're reliant on these solicitors to do what they can do. And knowing what I know at the moment, uh, majority of the complaints that I get, calls and complaints that we get, is solicitor related. You know, it's like, oh, I've, they haven't gone back to me, you know, I've sent them this and they haven't even acknowledged it. So there's a lot of problem and that's just going to get worse. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. So, um, you know, we've seen uh, uh, various bodies to do with financing, whether it's the lender side of things, whether it's the solicitors, um, lobbying the government and cautiously telling them, look, guys, there's going to be a problem ahead. Um, but you never know with this government. I don't know whether they'll listen or not. Um, um, but I think the fundamental problems within the economy are still, you know, the property market has been given a boost. Now, it could, if they extend the, the stamp duty deadline, I think it will prolong it. And maybe it will prolong it enough 
for the vaccine to come in and things recover and hopefully um, the market becomes more stable and then that, that's that's the way to do it and uh, i hope i hope they do that because if they extend it by another six months or so hopefully we will see the effects of the vaccine and uh, go through the, uh, the 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 population and that will give confidence to various sectors and hopefully um, with the work that they've done in regards to not allowing people to get evicted um, that will stabilize the economy in a way where um, you know we're not going to see a huge downturn um, really in the real economy um, but I know from a fact just speaking to some of my clients you know um, you've got winners and losers out there and a lot of people have been hit and I've got people that have met you know have made money for the last 15 years their businesses have been turning over really good profit and obviously they've been hammered and guess what at the time these people have been hammered what happens you've been hammered because your business has taken a hit and and the lenders um, the opportunistic lenders that they are and the cautious they have to be in a way they're now withdrawing products they're making loan to values lower for self-employed people they're making the affordabilities worse so if you're employed on the same salary as a self-employed person guess what the self-employed person will might get 4.2 times their salary where the employed person will get four and a half times their salary so everything's been stacked against the self-employed which is unfortunate um, and I don't really I don't really think that's right because you could be employed and tomorrow your employer can say sorry we haven't got a job for you anymore okay surely if you're self-employed you have a little bit more control over your destiny okay um, you can make changes to your business to make it profitable okay if you're an employee and you're working for a big corporate and the corporate says do you know what a thousand jobs must go and you're one of them how much control have you got there? So I'm not sure where they're coming from uh, when I suppose they, they can say, look, you know, uh, if you are made redundant or if there's changes because you've been an employee, you may be, you're, you've got a greater chance of getting a job elsewhere. Maybe that's where they're coming from. But I just don't, I just feel as a self-employed and I'm a self-employed person myself, I think self-employed people have been hammered okay they're going to take the brunt of all of this they're going to get the worst products they're going to get um, less money from the banks um, and then their their businesses have been hard here they you know some of them have got employees themselves so it's everything stacked against them and I think if we don't have a buoyant self-employment sector okay um, I think we, that's when we're going to get really in trouble and if these people feel poor if these people feel neglected if these people feel that they're left um, I think they're gonna stop spending they're gonna stop buying because they can't have they don't have the means or the facility to do so and I think that will have a knock-on effect eventually onto the market I also have seen when the stamp duty holidays came out we saw a massive rush into us for quotes for mortgages and for deals okay offers been accepted estate agents phoning up I've seen a lot of those properties go back on the market again okay so whether or not the clients decided against it whether they didn't have the affordability there's a lot of dreamers out there guys every day I get I must get one inquiry or two inquiry from someone who's on 20,000 pounds who wants to borrow 400 okay 20,000 pounds wants to borrow 350,000 one you can't afford it two what made you think that you can so um uh, but we get them all the time you get them all the so you've got a lot of dreamers out there and I believe a lot of those dreamers went out there started putting offers on properties that they could not afford those property have come back onto the market people are being a little bit more realistic with their asking prices um, but I think it all comes down to the government and how they deal with the property market if they continue with the stamp duty holidays if they continue um, trying to uh, nurture the property market then I think uh, the property sector I think um, it's going to be better and I think uh, it will give us time breathing space for the vaccine to come hopefully and go through um, uh, the, the the population and hopefully take the sting out the crash that will probably come um, anyway I hope you found this useful let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you on the next one thanks a lot the content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.